So hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Today's gonna be kind of a tech vlog. Even though it's not Tech Tuesday, it's Tech Monday. But the new iPhone just dropped, I guess, last week. And I was gonna pre-order one, but I've got the iPhone 10. I really like that phone a whole bunch, so I really didn't want to upgrade. But then my neighbor got the iPhone XS Max, I think it's called. It's quite a bit bigger than the phone I have now, which I really didn't like, but I played with it. It looked awesome. So I'm here at the Apple store. I'm gonna go pick it up right now. I was actually surprised I was able to get it because I got online and they said it was October 4th delivery date, but then I clicked on availability in the store and it brought up my Apple domain store. So I went ahead and ordered it and sure enough, it was there. So I got a 7.30 or seven o'clock appointment. I'm a bit early, but hopefully we can go pick it up and do a really cool unboxing for you guys. So. Woohoo! I love the Apple Store. One of my favorite places to be. So let's go get it done, y'all. got it guys we got it that was actually one of the easiest processes I've ever done I did the online thing signed up for it online and went and picked it up at the store last time my 10 I had it delivered if you recall from the last vlog I had it delivered this one actually went in and picked it up and I was there maybe 20 minutes probably like 10 minutes that was just talking to the guy about the new phone so got it uh, haven't unboxed it yet I'm gonna go do that at the house and it's activated but it's not on it'll actually activate through the network when I get home and actually turn the phone on. So we'll do that here in just a little bit and bring you guys a really, really, really cool unboxing of the new iPhone XS Max. All right, guys, so here it is. Finally got back to the house. Look at that sweet, sweet beauty. Gonna get this thing opened up real quick. Obviously, I'm not gonna showcase the unboxing because nobody cares about unboxing, really. You wanna see the meat and potatoes inside this thing, so. Let's do it, let's get it open. Obviously, everybody knows you start with this nice little fancy pull tab right here. Everything opens up like every other iPhone does. Pretty cool stuff. But look at this. Case, instructions, and beauty. Oh, guys, look at that. That is so gorgeous. Check this out, that is so pretty. It's a big phone, it's bigger than the one I have. It's equal to my iPhone 7 Plus that I used to have, so the size is nothing new, but I do have to get used to it because I'm used to the iPhone 10, which is a little bit smaller, but this one's gonna be nice for my video viewing, for when I'm doing pictures and doing the vlog. This is gonna be a cool phone. There it is. Oh yeah. yeah it automatically turns on. That's crazy. This is my favorite part, guys. I don't know if you can see this. You just basically put these two phones together and they sync all the information. It's absolutely crazy. All right, looks like he's activating. One step closer. Said it may take a few minutes, so we'll see what happens. This is also gonna be like my overall thoughts and impressions of the phone. Because like I said, I come from the iPhone 10 that I've had now for right at a year. And this is the new, XS Max. A little bigger size phone, but the processor a little faster, the graphics are a little better, so uh, I'm gonna kind of use the phone tonight and then tomorrow. So oh, this will be like a two-part vlog in the same vlog. So I'm gonna set it up tonight and then tomorrow I'll use it at work and things of that nature, take some good pictures, video, etc. Maybe do some vlogging with it and kind of give my secondary review once I've had it, you know, for 24 hours. All right, so you guys know that no phone is complete without the OtterBox cover. You gotta have the OtterBox cover. Every single iPhone I've had, the second I bought it, goes into one of these, and this thing has saved my tail so many times. I can't tell you how many times I've dropped this phone, I've kicked this phone. You guys know we work construction a lot, so I'm always laying down, rolling on stuff, kicking stuff, so this is definitely a must-have. So, she's protected now. 
Alrighty guys, so I've got the iPhone XS Max I'm vlogging with right now. I'm not using my vlogging camera. I wanna see how this phone is in the normal environment. Right now it's pretty windy outside. Probably a good five to 10 mile an hour breeze. I got pretty harsh sun over my right shoulder. So I've had the phone now less than 24 hours, but I've used it at work today a little bit. Really like it a whole bunch, but to me it's as fast or a little faster than my iPhone X. The colors are a little bit better. I don't notice a huge, huge improvement yet, but I haven't really dove into all the craziness. So I'm gonna do that a little bit later today, but right now I just wanna see how it looks in the natural environment. All right, so I just went to Best Buy and I had to get a magnetic mount for my new case because my old case uh, had the magnetic mount that I stick in the truck and <laughs> I've actually thrown the phone in the truck twice today. I totally forgot, jumped in the truck, threw it on the little magnetic dealie and it didn't work so i got a new thing hopefully it's going to work out it's not the exact one i had before but i think it's going to work out pretty good so let's get it hooked up so i quit breaking my phone all right y'all so here is the final update to the iphone xs max update that sounded weird this is the last video i've had the phone now a little over a week and really got to use it out in the real world doing video, doing photos, doing the portrait mode, all that kind of stuff. Guys, I really like this phone. Uh, it is a little bigger than my old phone, which it took me a few days to get used to, but really it's not that bad. Because like I said, I do come from the 7 Plus, so I'm used to the bigger size. I've only had the, uh, the iPhone X for a year, so it's really not that big of a deal. But the picture quality, the video quality, just the phone overall in general, the quality of the phone is absolutely amazing. Some of my favorite features are the zoom capabilities of the camera. Uh, when you double tap the little icon in the middle of the screen that says one by, it automatically jumps to two by, and the clarity is just phenomenal. And then you can actually zoom in like a million times closer than that. I did that a few times, take some pictures. I mean, you need good light, but it's absolutely crazy how far you can zoom out with this phone and still have really good usable images. Uh, video is the same way you can do that same thing with the video now I didn't do a lot of that with the video I've done it with some of the pictures uh, because video I'm usually using my GH5 right now I'm still on the iPhone actually I'm not using the GH5 today because <laughs> vlogger fail I left it at, at the house so I didn't vlog anything at work today but I'm I wanted to vlog on this phone to let you guys see how good this phone actually is right now I'm in the truck you know got partly cloudy day and God, just the clarity is absolutely amazing. Another thing I really liked was the speed of this phone. Uh, I actually still have my iPhone X because I wanted to do a comparison and I wanted to keep it just in case, you know, none of my information transferred over or whatever. Luckily it all did seamless, less than an hour-ish, it's perfect. But I had the two phones side by side and I would wipe the memory, wipe the cache, clear everything out. I started the phone over and would start two apps, the exact same apps, and this phone would load quite a bit faster, actually. Now, once it's loaded and it's in its cache, I guess, whatever, it actually was pretty close to the same. This might have been just a microsecond faster, but in the real world, guys, who's really gonna care about that much you know, difference in speed? But overall, when the app is fresh and clean and you start it, this one is a lot faster. So the processor is definitely better for sure. And some of the things I don't like, one of the very few things is, I know they say this battery is supposed to last a little bit longer, but to me, uh, I use my phone a lot. I stream music at work, you know, say 50% of the time. I'm on it all the time with my vlogging stuff, watching videos, etc. It seems like this battery does run out a little bit quicker than my ex did, uh, but I've got a charger in my truck, charger at the house, so I'm not overly concerned about that, but, that is one caveat of having this phone is that if you use it a lot with the new processor, you are gonna run out of battery a little bit quicker. One other small thing I really didn't like about this phone is this weekend I was out in the middle of nowhere where I don't usually have 100% service. It's spotty, hit or miss, 4G, got a bar, you know, nothing too crazy. And I was hoping with this dual SIM or dual whatever this phone does that I would have a little bit better service, but unfortunately I did not. So. I guess uh, the coverage area, you know, wherever you are, I guess it doesn't matter what the phone has, dual SIM or whatever they call that. Just really didn't work out for me. Like I said, I noticed the same coverage, same lack of coverage. So um, that was one thing I didn't like. I kind of had my hopes up for that, but 
know, again, I'm very rarely out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I have yet to lose any coverage where I have service normally. I've never dropped a call. Service has been pretty fast. Uh, never noticed me being throttled back. So overall, the speed of the service is pretty good, but unfortunately out where I was, was not 100%, so. All right, y'all, so I know this wasn't a crazy high-tech iPhone XS Max unboxing review, whatever you wanna call it. This is just my take, my perspective, and take it as you will. I'm just some plain old guy that, you know, enjoys tech, um, but I appreciate you guys watching this video. Hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully you are an iPhone fanatic and you're going to go pick up the new either XS or XS Max. Both same phone, just different size. A couple of small, minor differences, nothing really too big. But if you guys like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Smash it, smash it 2018 style. And if you really like my videos, I would really appreciate you click that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of these videos that come out. Sometimes I try to upload two or three times a week. Uh, if you're new to this channel, I do a mix of construction vlog. I work construction, so I do a lot of how-to behind the scenes. I uh, do some personal stuff, family stuff, things of that nature. So we definitely appreciate you guys subscribing and tell a friend. But until then, guys, we'll see you all in the next one. And remember, guys, to laugh often, love wildly, and have fun. See you in the next one.